Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these new PNSO figures that have just recently come out. And this one is the 2019 Levy the Urinosaurus. And it's one that I thought was really beautiful in the promotional images. Something I was super excited to get a hold of and look at here in person with you guys. So here we go. It's definitely a very obscure species you don't see get figures ever. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen one. So this will be a first for me. You can see there is a beautiful image here on the front as far as the actual figure itself goes. It does say PNSO, prehistoric animal models that accompany your growth, and then levy the Urinosaurus right there. If you look at the side, you've got a beautiful illustration of the animal right there. Same image on the back, and then just some general information on each of the sides. The typical very nice, very cool, very professional PNSO box. So let's get this open and take a look at it. Inside as always you get the very cool PNSO booklet. You can see yet another image there of the Urinosaurus on the front. And then when you open it up, it's actually a fold out like this. You can see there's the silhouette again. The rest of this image here lies right in this area. And then you do get quite a bit of information on the species itself. Obviously, there is not our language. There is English on this side. Beautiful booklet that always comes along with these PNSL figures. I truly do love that they include these. It gives you all kinds of information to read about the species. So on top of having an awesome model, you get to educate yourself on the figure itself. And here is the PNSO. Urinosaurus. It really, really looks awesome at first glance here in person. Although I will say one thing that they've actually changed in the promotional images. It appeared to have kind of like a purplish tone, but in person it does not have that at all. Or it doesn't look like it at least. It looks like it's primarily black, but I still think it looks really nice like this as well. And I'm quite intrigued to take a look at it, a closer look. So let's do that now. So if we start up here at the front of the head, you can see that the sword-like mouth that is similar to a swordfish has bowed a little bit. I think it might have just been crushed a little bit in the packaging. I'm not sure, but it definitely should be a little more straight. But I think with the hot water, cold water trick, I should be able to fix that relatively easily. As far as the sculpt goes, I think the mouth looks fantastic. The paint application looks very nice, very natural as well. As you get back here into the face, the nostril is sculpted out there, looks beautiful. Lots of very small, minute details all around the facial area of this animal. And the eye looks spectacular. You can see that they've done such a great job of really bringing the animal to life through the eye coloration and paint application. I'm not sure if that would be a decal, actually, or what exactly it is. The appearance really reminds me of the PNSO Ophthalmosaurus and how that one really had a beautiful, very realistic appearance with the eyes. And again, this has similar large eyes like that animal did and the eyes really quite remind me of that. Of course this is a much smaller scale than the Ophthalmosaurus was so that makes this actually even more impressive in my opinion. As we look at the flipper here, the fin, it looks really nice, beautiful detailing, very small minute detailing but you can definitely take note of it. The underside has a really beautiful looking appearance as far as smooth skin like you would expect to see on the bottom of this animal. But you can take notice that PNSO has done a great job as far as sculpting out detail and showing the movement kind of being portrayed throughout the bottom of the animal. The majority of it looks very smooth, really beautiful, and the paint application has quite the striking and intricate design, but it really looks beautiful on it, and it somehow looks very natural, even though it has like kind of almost like a star-like pattern along the middle here, almost sort of like crucifixes, but it looks really, really cool the way they've done that, and really helps to give the animal a beautifully striking look, like I said before helps to really make the animal and the appearance of the animal jump out at you and just overall have a really flashy appearance. Very nice detailing all over everywhere you look. You can really take note to the movement again of the animal beautifully portrayed in the sculpt. Very nice flipper back here as well or fin however you want to term that. Beautiful detailing on the underside back here as well. The majority of it is just really really smooth looking but you can definitely take note to some very fine detailing as you come out to the end of the tail. And again, the paint application looks really, really nice on this. It overall looks very natural somehow, and I really do love this. The opposing side looks pretty much the same as the opposite side does. You can definitely take note of a nice gloss there on the eyes, but in general, the entire animal has a really nice shine. You can definitely pick up on 
somewhat of a glossy appearance overall everywhere on this figure because it would be underwater it would have that glossy appearance so they've done a great job really portraying the fact that this would be wet even if I were holding it right here in my hand out of the water it would still have that shiny appearance and it looks great the way they've done that as well the detailing again for the most part looks the same on this side as you saw on the opposing side all the same similar style of sculpt and detail because it's not really in any kind of a crazy position for the most part it seems to be just swimming along pretty uh, fast honestly but at the same time there's not really too much going on in the way of the sculpt but I think they've really really nailed the sculpt overall when it comes to again portraying everything that's going on with the movement of the animal really shining through beautifully everywhere that you would expect it to as far as the actual coloration of the animal you can see that up here on the top it's primarily like this black or like a dark gray and then as you get down the body you can see all the very cool looking designs start to pick up they kind of lead from the eye and then run the entire length of the body till we get about almost to the tail maybe about halfway there through the tail and it's kind of like a yellowish coloration throughout the design and then as you get down here into the bottom you start to get this very cool similar yellowish color same deal up here on the face you can kind of see that run out the length of the swordfish type snout of the urinosaurus but then as you get down into the underside it really beautifully transitions to a very nice whitish coloration you can still pick up on the yellow here and there like on the underside of the throat but the majority of the underside is this whitish coloration which is very realistic exactly what you would like to see when it comes to a marine animal something that you're going to expect because it's going to have to have a lighter coloration to sort of blend when it comes to a predator looking from the underside up at it so that it can't quite pick up on it as easily when it comes to spotting prey so the white underbelly and then the transitioning to the yellow and the darker coloration on the top is really beautifully done very realistically done i think that this is really a beautiful figure of an extremely obscure species that i definitely wouldn't have expected to get a figure of but i'm really really happy that we have as far as the size goes from the tip of the snout there to the end of the tail you're looking at about seven and three quarter inches or about 19 and a half centimeters and there's not really too much in the way of a height as this is a marine animal but you're looking at about two and a quarter inches or about six centimeters somewhere in that range for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex and you can now get a good idea that this is a smaller figure i don't believe this is 135th scale or anything like you get with a lot of the pnso figures this is definitely one of their smaller range figures similar to the newer megalodon or stegosaurus and uh, this really should help to shine through that point next to the Papo Rex, showing you that it's fairly small in comparison, but it's really beautifully detailed and awesome in general to get, again, a figure of such an awesome obscure species. I'm really excited about it, even if it is a smaller figure. So this one is awesome, super cool looking, has a really beautiful appearance to the way the paint is applied, giving it such a striking look, something I'm not really too familiar with when it comes to PNSO because for the most part a lot of their marine animals that they've released so far have had very basic but very realistic looking paint applications when it comes to nothing overly flashy and I think this is probably the first one that's been really kind of flashy in this similar style but I really think they've done a great job on it overall so for this to be really kind of them taking a chance on something and making something a little bit different I think they 100% nailed this one I really love the sculpt I think the sculpt looks great really beautifully portraying all the movement in the animal and even though it's for the most part a very smooth skinned animal they found ways to cram detail in different areas that you just wouldn't expect and I think they've really brought this animal to justice overall when it comes to this figure the eyes look fantastic and I think the eyes really help to sell the realism of this figure and really help to make this thing just pop out and make it look so beautifully real the paint application again looks very natural but flashy the sculpt looks very beautiful as well so in my opinion this is a surefire win from PNSO I absolutely love this figure as I always do when it comes to PNSO they just do a phenomenal job continuously so if you do want to purchase this figure I will put a link in the description for you to pick this up on amazon.com you can also probably find it on AliExpress or eBay as there are many sellers 
also selling this figure on there. So check the link in the description to go to Amazon on the PNSO store, pick up this awesome Uranosaurus today. But before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.